Hello and welcome to Shark Jets, I'm Skid Viz. Uh, a few videos back I showed you how to make Iron Man hands so that you could fly around. Well, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your hands look like Iron Man hands. Uh, if you've ever wanted to change the way the default VRIF hands look, uh, I will show you how to do that. But first, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so that YouTube tells people I'm here. Um, and now without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, here we are in Unity 2019 LTS. We have VRIF 1.72 installed. Um, things changed in 1.72, so if you have an earlier version, this will not work for you. Not this way anyways. So uh, I have a plane down so we can stand on something. I have the regular XR rig laid out so that we can do that. And what we're gonna do is go into this and click on the right hand and if you do that, you'll see it selects uh, one of these things here. And this is the actual hand component. Um, and it's broken up into two pieces. There's the gloves. If you disable that, you can see the glove goes away and we're left with floating fingers. And if you click on the hands model, the same thing happens. But the other way, you lose your fingers and keep the gloves. So what we're going to do is replace this whole thing here because... Uh, we want to make it easier to just modify one file instead of multiple files. So, but the, the same applies if you want to just change this, just have to modify your workflow a little bit. The one thing we do have to notice is that this hand model is using an animation controller here and it's using the right hand animator. So we'll want to keep note of that for later, but for now we'll just disable this and then we'll go into the inspector and we'll look for skeleton, skeletal. And you'll find all these things here. These are um, the other hand models that are included with VRIF. So we want this R hand skeletal low res. So we'll just drag that where the other one was. And you'll see this pink or uh, whatever that color is hand appear there because it doesn't have a uh, material. So we'll open this up and expand it till we get to this hands R hand. And you'll see here where it's looking for a material, it says none. So we'll open this up and there's actually a hands material. So we'll type in hands and we'll pick the hands material. And there you have the old fashioned um, one material hand. So if you click on this hands material or just look for it here in the helper here, hands. You can see the properties of this material and the main thing we're looking for is this little image here under the albedo. If you click on that, you'll see that there is an image there. And if you right click and go to show in Explorer, you'll open up the folder here and you'll see that hands is actually a PSD file so you can open it in Photoshop. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so it opens it up in Photoshop and it looks like uh, two silhouettes apparently talking to each other. But it's actually one hand, uh, the top version and the top or the bottom version. And there's actually a grid here that if you enable it, you can kind of see where the fingers are um, and all that stuff. But we'll just disable that. And uh, this left side is the top part. So if I go ahead and just put a T here and then put a B here. And then just save this and go back into Unity. You'll see the T is now on that side and the B is now on that side. So the same thing with, um, you know, that there's two different layers here. This is the glove. You can turn the glove off this way. Um, you can change the skin color. Um, they already have a color overlay on it. So you can actually grab this color overlay and make it, I don't know, green for the Hulk. Um, and if you just save the file and go back in, you'll see now that the hand is green. So that's the easy way. You can actually just go into Photoshop and color this however you want. Um, but there are programs specifically made for doing texturing. And so I'll go ahead and show you that here. Okay, so in my example, I'm using Substance Painter, but there are other programs that I will link to in the description that are um, either free or lower cost than Substance Painter. And what you do is the same pretty much in all of them. You will open up uh, the file that you have. So we need to select the path to our 
hand models and I know what the path is. It's the it's in the assets folder uh, models hand oculus hand. So we'll go ahead and find that our hand skeletal low res right there and we will open that and you get this uh, 3D model of the hand and you can in most of these programs you can just literally drag and drop a texture onto these um, and just kind of uh, stack them on top of each other and then create like a mask where you can expose just parts of it right and just paint on it like you would uh, some kind of 3D painting thing. Uh, and it's kind of cool and I'm gonna spare you watching me do this and I'll just go ahead and show you the finished product. Okay, so here we have a uh, pretty close to spec Iron Man hand. So I'll just go ahead and export this into uh, a folder on my desktop. So I will export my textures. Uh, pick this folder, it's already set, and then hit export. And it'll export a bunch of different files and I'll show you how to set that up in Unity next. So all right, here we are in Unity. I wanna go ahead and create a new folder for my new textures. So I'll just create this here, call it Iron Man. And then I will import those images. So import new asset. Go to that folder and select all the files that it added and put them in there. Now you can see there's that image that I just exported. So now I go back into the hands material and instead of uh, just having that one albedo, I'll go ahead and um, use that set that I just made. So where's my Iron Man folder? Here it is. So I'll drag this base color one, that'll be the albedo. So I'll drag that into the albedo. And right there, you can see the hand has already changed. Um, it looks kind of flat because we need to import the rest of the stuff. So there's this one called height. So we will need to set that. I need to stop clicking on things. So we'll grab this one called height and we will add it to where it says height map. And that didn't do much for us, but then this metallic one is going to make a big deal. So we'll take the metallic and drag it to the metallic section. And now you can see the hand looks like it's wet. It's a little over metallic. So we can adjust the smoothness to make it less metallic or more metallic until you feel it looks right. Uh, and then we have a couple others, normal map, which we're not really using, but we can drag that in there anyways and hit fix now. And then for roughness, that would be called the detail. So we're all set up here, right? And now uh, we have to do the same for the left hand. So we'll just go over to the left hand anchor, find our models and turn this one off. Oops, that one turn that one off and then bring in the left hand skeletal. So we'll look for that skeletal again and just bring in the left hand skeletal low res, put that in there. We'll have the same thing, it'll be pink. So we'll just have to go into the model here and set this material to hands. And since it's the same material, we won't have to do all that other stuff because now they're both set up. Now remember we had to make sure that, to note the animator. So we'll go back into these hand models and in the animator section, we'll make sure to set this to the right animator. So this one's left hand animator. And then the other one, we need to set that to the right hand animator. All right, so if we try this out, it should work. All right, there you go. You can see my really cool, shiny Iron Man hands. And uh, yeah, everything still works as it should and you can just finger shoot people and uh, do all kinds of cool stuff and make your own custom designs. And there you have it, quick and easy as usual. You can make it as easy as changing a pink file or you can get as detailed as you want using one of these specialty programs to make really fancy graphics. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so that YouTube keeps me alive. 
Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or join my Discord. I'm still Skidvis. Peace out.